Yo, what is good YouTube? It is your boy Lance V and welcome back to another Wonderlands video. All right, it is Thursday. What's today's date? April 14th, 2022. All right, so you know what that means. Another hot fix day. All right, so uh, I got it pulled up right here. This is Tiny Tina's Wonderlands notes, hot fix notes version 1.0.1.0 G. All right, so let's go ahead and read on in with the, whatever the notes say. I have not looked into this as of yet, but yeah, let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so as it reads, these changes will be live on all platforms by 9.30 a.m. Pacific time on April 14th, 2022. To confirm that you have the most recent hotfix, check the news screen in game on the main menu or pause menu for the hotfix 1.0.1.0 G article. If you don't see the article in the news section after the update is live, or if you see the previous version number, please exit the game and relaunch. If you have any bugs and or feedback to report, please go ahead and submit that to support.2k.com. Here's the link right here. I'll also have the link to this patch note down below in the description as well. So we got new weekly rotations. As you guys know, every Thursdays we get a new in-game mini event with the uh, featured runs for the Chaos Chamber. So weekly event, this in-game limited time mini event will be active from April 14th to April 21st at 9 a.m. Pacific time. Activated it, the end game mini event. Fortunate encounters. Dice from random encounters in the overworld will now drop more loot and more moon orbs. Also, like I said earlier, the Chaos Chambers feature run has been updated. Feature runs are available in the Chaos Chamber after you complete this main story and rotate weekly every Thursday at 9 a.m. Pacific time. All right, boys. So this week's featured run now has the Banshee and the King in it let's go boys also by the way the featured run has received an increase to the boss dedicated drop chance for the week in the chaos chamber change notes fix an issue that was something causing the achievement after completing the walk the stock quest not to be awarded patched up a hole in queen's gate fame makers who do not own the butt salient pack are not able to drop and sell cosmetic items from it if picked up during gameplay prevented fate makers from picking up fire spells before they knew how to do fire magic increased the chance for chaos chamber aspects aka bosses and the maker to drop dedicated gear oh that's good because every time i ran those we would not get in i wouldn't get anything at all for each aspect defeated we have increased the chance for their dedicated item to drop from the maker in addition the maker herself is also getting an increased chance for dedicated gear to drop dina has completed the item cards and quad bow and thunder anima are now possible world drops gave customized drops a whole new look we colored the loot beam and outlined to a better yellow color so they won't get confused with purple epic gear the lost loot machine will no longer confuse them with epic gear either the item card has now been switched to match common item cards the audio cue for the drop is no longer the same as epic gear make more gold you can sell customizations for twice as much at vending machines now the all passive properly scales to the fame maker instead of giving a flat rate balance adjustments spell adjustments magic barrage so if you guys didn't know magic barrage fires magic projectiles at enemies we made some changes to how some of the different variants scale their damage at higher levels the cooldown times and in the case of the concentrated magic barrage swapped out an extra projectile in favor of the spell now having two stages when channeled that increased in damage all right so we're gonna go ahead and get in this list of the changes that they made with these spells magic barrage all prefixes increased base spell damage from 8 to 13 overwhelming magic barrage increased damage scaling 13 percent overwhelming magic barrage decreased cooldown by eight percent bursting magic barrage increased increased damage scaling by 56%, cascading magic barrage increased damage scaling by 69%, concentrated magic barrage reduced damage scaling by 45%, also reduced the radius scaling by 66%, also increased cooldown scaling by 5%, they also reduced total channel time by 0.5 seconds, and they also replaced the extra projectile at max channel time with 25% increased spell damage. Cold burst arc turret. Arkin's arc turret spell calls out a lightning bolt on enemies. We have adjusted how the damage and radius scaling for the spell works in its individual channeling stages. Stages get increasingly more powerful. It will now scale at 25% each stage. 
Eruption, increased eruption base damage from 20 to 24. Hydra increased all Hydra spells base charges from one to two. So now you can have double the casting fun. Yo, I feel like a lot of people are gonna be spamming that. Sigil, increase all Sigil spells base damage by 200%. Wow, that's a huge increase. Weapon base adjustments. Sniper rifles increased all sniper rifle damage by 20%. Magic poison SMG. We found that these guns weren't appreciated as, as it was taking 1.5 seconds for the damage to ramp up to competing levels. We're removing the delay and including it as a part of the base damage that the gun does. So here are most of the fixes for the poison SMGs. Let's run through this list real quick. Remove plus 50% damage scaling over time. Increase Hyperius magic. Magic Poison SMG damage scaling by 50%. Increase Dahlia Magic Poison's SMG scaling damage by 50%. Increase Fury Magic Poison SMG damage scaling by 50%. Reduce Fury Magic Poison SMG thrown damage by 20% to compensate for the damage increase. White Rider's dual beam damage scaling remains unchanged, overall increasing the damage each beam does due to the Dahlia scaling change. The damage of White Rider's single beam mode was getting scaled twice. The damage was close to what we we're aiming for before these buffs but due to the additional increases we've reduced this modifiers form by 11.8 percent legendary pistols oh my gosh okay let's get into this too as well <laughs> reduce masterwork handball damage and scaling by 30.8 percent reduce masterwork handball crit damage bonus by 50 percent reduce catatumbo damage scaling by 6.67 percent reduce queen's cry damage scaling by 15 percent reduce pookie's chew toy damage scaling by 28.8%, reduce Ruby Spite damage scale by 30.8%, increase automatic XEX damage scaling by 50%, increase Glutiny damage scaling by 15.4%, increase the message reload speed by 50%. Addressing the issue with how liquid cooling damage scaling was being calculated. Oh no, oh no. Backstory hero point twist of fate adjustment. Note backstories cannot be changed after you pick one, but the changes will still apply to your character when you play the game. Game. These changes will all apply to new characters. Village Idiot adding minus three wisdom penalty, raised by elves, increase dexterity from plus two to plus four, increase entombment from plus zero to plus two. Failed Monk increase wisdom bonus from plus four to plus six, increase intelligent bonus from two to three. Rogue Alchemist increase entombment from zero to two. Yo, so they nerfed the liquid cooling from what I can see. Oh my gosh. All right, all right, all right. Cool, cool. 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 I mean, I'm, I, I don't know. We're, we're going to have to test it out. We're going to have to test these things out real quick on stream. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick update for this week's hot fix notes. If you guys have any questions or if you guys have anything that you guys want to talk about, please, you know, feel free to leave that down in the comment section below. Other than that, if you like the video, make sure you go ahead and like the video. Sub to your boy here on YouTube. Also, follow me on TikTok and Twitter at LandCV. Other than that, I hope you guys have a good day, good night, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever it is that you are in this world. I'll probably have maybe like some gameplay of myself running through the chaos chamber after the, you know, the hot fix uh, has been pushed out uh, in the background. So hopefully you guys enjoy that as well. But yeah, I guess I'll just see you guys on the next one. Peace out, homies.